Hello, I'm Gianfranco Bertone and I'm a professor in theoretical astroparticle physics at the University of Amsterdam. A new astronomy is rising, an astronomy based not on lights and telescopes, but on gravitational waves, vibrations of space-time that allow us to observe events that would be otherwise buried forever in darkness, forever out of our grasp. The first direct detection of uh, gravitational waves announced in 2016 marked the end of a long quest that involved and confused even Albert Einstein himself. But it also marked the beginning of a new era as uh, it literally opens a new window on the universe, almost a new sense that humanity is developing to perceive the universe. One of the most exciting opportunities arising from this new science is to shed new light on fundamental physics and solve some of the biggest mysteries in the universe. We know that the universe is permeated by forms of matter and energy that are completely unknown. They go under the names of dark matter and dark energy. And that places and events exist in the universe where the known laws of physics quite literally break down. All these mysteries have something in common, as they arise from the observation of the universe on very large scales, but they sink their roots in a microcosm ruled not by gravity, but by quantum physics. And as such, they establish a connection between the infinitely large and the infinitely small. Dark matter, for example, is thought to be made of new particles, particles that are not included in the standard model of particle physics. Dark energy is thought to be associated with the quantum vacuum, which, contrary to the classical vacuum, has a finite energy associated to it. And as for black holes, uh, scientists like Stephen Hawking and many others have argued that there are many interesting connections between quantum physics and black holes, and you might have heard in particular about so-called Hawking radiation and that black holes can evaporate because of this quantum radiation emitted by black holes. And finally, the most widely accepted theory for the origin of the universe is that of cosmic inflation that identifies in microscopic quantum fluctuations the origin of everything that exists in the universe. Stay tuned as this new astronomy promises surprising new discoveries and to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. In my book, A Tale of Two Infinities, and in a talk that you can find on the website of the Royal Institution, I discuss how the new science of gravitational waves may shed new lights on these mysteries and establish these connections between the infinitely large and infinitely small, so a connection between these two infinities.